freshman year I came here. They didn't really know my situation. I got suspended for the intent of selling and possession of a controlled substance. And they were going to report me to the police, but they didn't because it was my own prescription. No one really helped me. I kind of didn't really care. Sophomore year wasn't good. Second sophomore year wasn't good. School was full of drugs. There wasn't a day where someone didn't get in a fight or you didn't hear about someone doing drugs in the bathroom. So it was an everyday occurrence. We can have lots of dreams and hopes for you, but you are the one that plays a critical role. What your vision, what your passion is, will determine whether or not you achieve those dreams. Cheerleaders are supposed to be like preppy and nice and perfect and popular. I'm like mean and evil. Let any one of these little kids say something, and I'm gonna hit them. I overthink about things. I have one verse of a song in my head, and I'll sing it over and over again because I can't stop thinking about it. I don't like taking my medicine. It makes me not want to eat, not want to sleep. When you have ADHD, you suppress a lot of things, like thoughts and anger and energy, and then one day, like, I am f***ing pissed off. I've been working my ass off all freaking week just to fail now. It's just a pain in the ass. I just get frustrated with it. Kelsey has an emotional behavioral disability. The characteristics are someone who's withdrawn, who's impulsive, shut up, who's depressed and anxious and has low self-worth. And those are all the characteristics that Kelsey demonstrates. When you have like a shitty past, you personally like block it out so that you don't remember all the hard times. When we lived in Georgia, like, we would have to get up, get dressed. My sister used to like wash us in the sink and like put like baby powder and stuff all over us. My mom was always drunk or high or whatever. I hate myself for my kids suffering, and I know it's affected Kelsey, and it's probably her, her way of thinking. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. When she was younger, I was constantly working, so there was a good chunk of, of my kids' lives where I wasn't around to follow through with what they were doing. Kelsey, you're coming right down to the wire. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that the tolerance level for misbehavior right now is very low. You got it? Yep. We want you to graduate. <laughs> if you dwell like on the bad things that like I started really bad like when I was growing up, you tend to get like think about it a lot. You get depressed. So like what's the point in thinking about it? I just block it up completely. By not asking for help, Kelsey, you're setting up your own roadblock. You're always going to need to find someone you can trust, and that's something that you just have to internally accept, you know? You're a very determined person, and you feel like, I've always taken care of me. I don't need anybody in my life to help me. There's going to be a time in your life, and this is right now, you might need more than just yourself to get through this. And there's no shame, and there's no embarrassment in that. You know what I mean? One day, they told me to go to this meeting. I didn't know what it was for, but I went anyway because I wouldn't have to be in class, so it was kind of cool. All right, so, Kelsey, what's the agenda for today? Graduating, why not? Graduating. Really? If I don't graduate, I'm pretty sure I'm not coming to the school. How many classes is she passing right now? Two of her classes right out now. Out of four? Out of four. OK. Which is so that's going to put her way off track for graduation. Right. 28 days until I graduate, kind of. It's crunch time. The reality is Kelsey has stopped taking her meds. Um, she feels it really changes her personality and she doesn't like how it makes her feel. She wants to try to manage this ADHD on her own. Take the medicine, put it in. Right now it's on safe. Police work is obviously what I want to do. If you want to do criminal justice, that's fine, but like I've been saying, I've seen a department turn down a female that was your size because I think that they think she wouldn't have been able to handle herself. Kind of hoping that won't be the case. I always thought his perception on me was that you can't do anything, you won't go on to anything. I want to prove my father wrong. B1 plus B2. I don't know how to do that. Get over here! <laughs> now! I need help! You want to help him? <laughs> what? What are you having trouble on? Nothing, just being stupid. 
32 plus, 36 plus, 35. Awesome, great job. You know, Tuesdays we've been doing check-ins. You stay on track. And then 20 divided by four. Your goals are being met. Yep, exactly. And then when I met with you on Thursday, I said, what's going on in math? And you said you did something that you really don't typically do. I asked for help. There out a cold window. Close your eyes as the shadows grow.